Hello. Wow. Oh, there's crepes. Hi, Chris. Good what morning. is this? French toast, and in the Purdue is Nutella and coffee. Was it hard working in the kitchen with eight other people? It was very tight, yeah. It was very tight. All right, thank you. And who made this crepe? That was me. Hearing your story, Brooke, I mean, my mom made crepes with me every Sunday morning. Really? Uh, so, uh, so I put uh, a tiny bit of Nutella in the crepe batter, and then Nutella cherry filling, and espresso hazelnuts. I like that you put the Nutella in the batter itself. Is that a shot of bourbon? That's me. <laughs> I made some classic pancakes with Nutella, dry cherries, and then that is a spiced bourbon maple syrup. Is it hard to focus on this first challenge? No, I, I was thinking, like, I can't wait to make breakfast for my son when he can actually eat solid food. I'm just going to leave out the spice and the bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> it's oatmeal. I made stock out of coconut milk, almond milk, and Nutella. On top, I toasted some almonds, coconut, and bacon. And I mounted the oatmeal with just a little bit of Nutella to finish. You mounted your oatmeal? Yeah. Did you add salt to the oatmeal as well? Yeah, I did add a little salt to the oatmeal. I did a vanilla crepe filled with a blood orange paste and Nutella with a little bit of whipped ricotta. Both my kids are always in the kitchen with me, and my daughter wanted to learn how to make crepes. Crepes are the new pancake. Yeah. I like the savoriness. Am I drinking this? Or? No, that is a Nutella syrup. There's orange zest and toasted walnuts in the yeast risen waffle and caramelized bananas with some toasted walnuts on top. The banana is beautiful, but it's very sweet. My mom used to make breakfast a lot, not every weekend because she worked in restaurants. And a lot of times she would do toast in the waffle iron to save time. So this is French bread, Nutella hazelnuts, and then Nutella espresso. I didn't finish plating. The drizzle was very uh, aggressive on flavor. That would have given it a little moisture and richness. Yes, yeah, it's oh. dry. I made a Nutella and jelly Benedict. It's a strawberry habanero jam with Nutella on the bottom, poached egg, and a pretty classic hollandaise. What made you feel like the Nutella would play off the egg? I just wanted to play with the sweet, with the egg. I think the Nutella gives it a beautiful richness as well. It anchors the jam. I did an almond waffle with a Nutella yogurt spread at the bottom. Greek yogurt or plain? And just a tiny bit of ricotta. It's actually a very moist waffle. Overall, this was some really fun, very filling, very tasty food. But who do you think maybe didn't do as well this morning? Joe. The oatmeal itself I found muddled and a little bit oversalted. Who else? Tanya. I wanted more texture, a little bit more savory. Adrian, you were lacking the sauce, which is the Nutella element that I was really looking for. But there is some good news. Carrie. I was really shocked at how well everything went together. I really got the essence of Nutella, but it was a complimentary flavor to the dish. Cool, thank you. Claudette, you were very reserved in the Nutella and therefore made the whole dish very balanced. Thank you so much. Fatima, oh. what really did it for me wow. was the texture of your waffle. Thank you. Brooke, who had our favorite dish of the day? The winning chef today made a dish that really surprised me. I felt like it was really beautifully executed, and that chef is Carrie. <laughs>